<laughs> All right, welcome back. Thank you for joining us. Uh, as you, you know, this, uh, I'm Vinny Antonella's Mark Majuleski. Majuleski. Majuleski, okay. That's right, we'll make it up as we go on that, too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, we're actually here with our first guest. Yeah, Redeem, we'd like to welcome you to the set tonight. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we're, we're uh, excited to have you here and, and looking forward to a little bit of an opportunity to finding out more about your show, Unashamed, I believe is the name. Yes, correct? Yep, Unashamed. Um, and can we go back a little bit? I believe this started out actually as a, well, not this exact show, but you started doing a radio series. Is that yeah, correct? Back in 2010, I was okay. on a radio show called My Kind of Radio Presents the Gospel. Uh, we use uh, music, uh, gospel music or Christian hip hop, uh, to spread the message about the word itself. Um, and I would also have my own personal message, whether we be talking about uh, believer's character, uh, true doctrine, uh, and it goes from anything that just really encourage the believers mm -hmm. to keep going. I mean, this walk itself yeah. is not a, it's not an easy walk because there's so many things that come with it. Um, you're fighting yourself, and, and God gives you, you know, the Holy Spirit, so now you have the spirit side of yourself. So it's kind of like it's a, it's a battle each and every day. So, you know, I decided to come up with, you know, to do the show, really just to inspire people to keep going on, you know. There's a world out there that, you know, a lot of things happen, mm -hmm. um, but we're so quick to, you know, just want the return of Jesus Christ to come. Yeah, absolutely. Instead of actually just going out there yeah. and being bold in our faith, uh, making sure that we live up to what the scriptures say so that we can be a light to the world. So, you know, I try to do whatever I can do, whatever avenue I can do, that's great. Really just press the, you know, move the word in any kind of direction. And well, I think it's fortunate that we get to have you on this weekend too, be an Easter weekend. A lot of people are hopefully being maybe more aware, um, thinking about spiritual things more than they might otherwise normally. And, um, you know, there's so many negative messages that we get in the media. There's so much that we get saturated with. You turn on um, the news or, you know, whether it be in your car or on television or whatever, it's nice to have a positive message being put out there and have something that families can, you know, can unite around. I'm sorry, Benny, you were going to say something. No, I was actually it. going to bring up the, the, the fact that this is Easter weekend. And we are, you know, obviously celebrating the resurrection of Christ. Mm -hmm. The fact that he, he died for us as the ultimate sacrifice, giving, giving our, his life for us, for our sins. Yeah. And, uh, um, and I believe the show that you were doing on the radio was called, uh, you said, My Kind of Radio Presents the Gospel? Yeah, My Kind of Radio Presents the Gospel. So you're going from a radio show, and that's going to continue, I believe, right? Yeah, it will be coming on, uh, the website should be coming on uh, the show, but uh, it should okay. be coming on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Okay, Thursdays at 7 p.m., and I have the website here just a reference for people, uh, www.ustream.tv uh, sorry, ustream .tv forward slash channel. Uh, forward slash the dash religion dash word dash channel. You probably didn't get all that because it's really long, but bear with us. Um, if you, if you it, search for it, you'll be able to find it. There, there will also be a link up on our on the uh, on our website on the unashamed uh, yep. page of Sports Wire Entertainment. So, what prompted you to consider doing a, a live radio or uh, uh, streaming show as well? Well, like I stated before, I mean, uh, I'm in any position or any type of opening that comes available that I can share the truth. It also challenges me to definitely be dedicated to the word itself. Mm. Um, I'm just a firm believer that, you know, us as uh, believers, Christians, disciples, whatever you want to call yourself, if we truly, you know, use any avenue that's given to us instead of just going to church on Sunday and you know, Wednesday or whatever, I believe that we can be a lot more effective. Mm. Um, you know, God said he would judge the world, but I mean, we have to look at ourselves and make sure that we're, we're doing what we're called to do so. You know, the opportunity came available, and I'm like, I can do radio, I can do cool camera, it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah. I just think it's a time, and with the things that happen in the news, I mean, I just don't want to sit back and do anything. Um, I want to definitely build a body up, we're all one body. No matter what denomination you come from, I believe it's important that you as a believer recognize the fact that you have a duty. Like when you were bought with a purchase, bought, bought, but a purchase by Jesus Christ dying for our sins. So mm -hmm. it doesn't stop right there. We're no longer, we no longer control what we do in regards to, you know, spreading the word itself. And that can be in different avenues. Well, I appreciate one of the things you said in there too, that it's, it's a challenge to you to do it. 
that it's not just for you know those of you that might be watching at home or listening at home or in, you know wherever you might be uh, picking this up, but it challenges yourself to to kind of stay sharp in the word and, and prepare yourself and and uh, get ready for the challenges that you're going to face as well. I think that's you know that's a great point because no one's got it all figured out, um, and so I think it's really important that people realize that. I think a lot of times uh, if you hear someone preaching or speaking about the word, I know at times myself, I could start thinking, oh, they've got it all together. Well, no, none of us do, mm -hmm. you know, and I really appreciate um, that point that you made in there as well. Um, well, I, I believe you mentioned this, but how long ago did you start doing your radio program? 2010, into 2010, yeah. Okay. So I definitely can't wait to get back into that. I started back up uh, this week. Well, starting uh, next week, pretty right. this Thursday. Um, and then doing this show on Fridays, from 7 to 8, if I believe. I think, that's, I think we're working out the schedule, but I believe that's what it's going to be. And we're just going to go from there. But I'm challenging myself. Now, I, I plan on doing a lot more things, like, in the community. Like, um, for example, I want to go out to the streets and just, you know, not really be preaching in the streets, mm -hmm. but I want to go out and just give myself a, a task. Uh, I like okay. Christian hip-hop, so I give myself this task. Um, I want to make some CDs. I'm going to go in the streets, and I'm just going to give them out. Um, cool. Not with any type of, you know, hidden agenda behind it. But like I said, these are the things I believe that your average urban community or whatever community you're in, uh, I want to be able to share that it's not about, you know, uh, preaching and, and, you know, you, you know, we're, well, of course we're being judged whether from the world or with our own believers or something, but I believe that the things that we cherish the most, we should go out and do it. So I love music, so I want to challenge myself to go out and maybe get some other people to go out with me and just give out music, uh, you know, pray for someone. I mean, there's so many things that are going on um, that we really have to be focused that we can help anyone. And I think you bring up a good point, especially, uh, you know, with the music. I mean, up until I, you know, started hanging out and becoming a Christian myself, I never realized there was so much other genres of Christian music rather than just, you know, stuff here in church. Yep, right. I mean, you know, I've, I've learned so much about different bands. Uh, there's actually Christian heavy metal that I've never heard of. And it's, it's just, yeah. and, you know, that's just the kind of thing that some people don't understand about Christianity is that, you can still listen to the same, the same kind of music, just cleaned up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's the thing that I found interesting, too, with it. Um, and we can talk after the show. I might have some people you might want to connect with that, that maybe can help you in that. But that's what our, our faith is, you know, is if we're putting it in action. So whether it be, you know, getting an opportunity to share with people through music. Um, we were just talking about people playing semi-pro football. And they're doing it for the love of the game. Well, this is the same kind of thing. I mean, you're not paid to do this. This is not something that, you know, is his full-time job. Uh, you know, really, you are not a minister, uh, per se, in that sense, like as what we think of it, like for a pastor, for a church or something. This is something you're doing out of your heart, you know, kind of the overflow of your heart. And this is something, your way of giving back. Uh, Definitely, I think, um I've been that guy that just sit back and just do nothing. It's just not fulfilling at all. Um, and I think that for any person out there that's a believer, uh, just starting Christianity in their life or their faith in Jesus Christ or anything, um, you're going to get challenged. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's definitely out there for you to really share your testimony. A lot of us, we, you know, we don't just sit back and just think that we're supposed to listen to the pastor and that's it. Right. And it just doesn't, it's, it's deeper than that. Um, you have a relationship with Jesus Christ at this point, so you need to know what your will is that God gave you, and he will provide all the resources. And I think that uh, I'm in a perfect opportunity to do that, and I hope that it goes beyond here and just, just keeps pushing. I mean, I just really want to challenge any believer right now. So if, you're, if you definitely feel like you're lacking in your faith or you're not doing what you're supposed to do and you know it, you need to really ask yourself or get on your knees and just ask God, what is it that you are calling me to do? Mm -hmm. um, I know I can hear your voice, but I mean, actually, whether it's uh, TV, video games, mm -hmm. um, the opposite sex, 
Uh, there's so many things out there that can really throw you off track, but it's important that when you make a commitment to Jesus Christ, put him first. Right, and I think what you said there is the most important. I mean, all those things that you mentioned too, video games, television, the opposite, can be good things. But if our priorities are out of lack, then, you know, even though we might have a good situation, we could end up destroying ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, just thinking of through situations in my own life, um, you know, having good things right in front of you and not realizing it. And whether you're someone of the Christian faith or not, I think you can, you can relate to that there. So just keep, you know, keep that in mind and, and um, you know, it's learn to walk the walk. Um, and I don't want to put ideas out there that aren't in your show, but I, I love the idea of taking it to the street and being able to, you know, um, whether it be CDs, maybe it's even doing good deeds, you know, mm -hmm. some kind of good deed or things like that it might be something you can incorporate in the future. Um, but I think there's a lot of potential there and it's certainly something that, that people need to hear. Absolutely. Yeah, because it's really about serving. I mean, I know we like to enjoy, you know, not saying it's wrong, get material things. Right. But at the end of the day, I, I would prefer to make a brother or sister or even an unbeliever happy that they had someone listen, had someone listen to whatever issue was, pray with, or whatever that may be. Um, but, you know, those, God will take care of me and you or whoever. But at the end of the day, it's just about serving one another. And I think once we all can come together in that point mm -hmm. and just serve one another, we'll see God do amazing things. I mean, I think there's a lot of things that I want to share on the show. I just want to, like I said before, challenge the believer to really, really come together in unity. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like it's not in the word that unity is not in there. Uh, we really need to come together and just uh, do God's will. And he will provide everything else for us. Right. Well, and I just want to remind the audience again, um, his radio show will be Thursdays at 7 p.m. and that's on Ustream TV and you can check out the link. Uh, we'll get that up. And then hopefully Fridays we're working out the time for when he'll be doing his streaming show through Sportswire Entertainment. But uh, I'd like to, th the name of that show again is Unashamed. And I'd like to thank Redeem for joining us uh, on the air tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, no thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming. Great having you. Thanks, We're going to be taking a break right now and uh, we'll be right back with Nikki V and the wrestling Senate. Anyway.